Yes. 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 We met you here coincidentally. Yes, this sir. is for you. <laughs> this is for Auntie Mo. Mm -hmm. This one is for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. It's a coincidence. We're supposed to like drop it for you. Uh, it's a lie. It's for you. You are not black. Wow. I feel good. Wow, thank you. Wait, wait. Emmanuel, who had always been by the side of his girlfriend, was absent. Was that was he ever the boyfriend? <laughs> he finally hit the nail on the head after he was a no-show at Licorose's birthday party. Was there ever a relationship? <laughs> okay. He also didn't give a shout out to her on his social media pages. <laughs> was there ever a relationship? Wait. Let's move on to the cheapest part. In the message that had since gone viral, the fans had raised millions of naira for the former couple, but have not been able to present it to them because of the sad turn of events. We're talking about a breakup. <laughs> don't don't we have to have a relationship before we even talk about a breakup? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is this is actually the juicy part. The ship has raised the sum of 19.7 million naira. Was that for a wedding? <laughs> YouTube channel my name is Glory Elijah this is frankly speaking with Glory I am the girl with a T <laughs> listen guys listen let me put this disclaimer out there all right Glory Elijah is not petty but I love to have a good laugh <laughs> yes I love to have a good laugh especially when I have predicted something when I have seen something coming way 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 beyond the present and people come and drag me for it guys ah nah i must have a good laugh hold on let me drop my mug of tea <laughs> listen listen <laughs> i actually had an entirely different conversation planned out for today's video but then i strayed into instagram last night and i stumbled on this not so new news because to be very honest it's not even news at all it's all just in fact, it's not even newsworthy, to be very frank with you all. It's not even newsworthy because I told you all, and I hate saying I told you so, but hey, I have to say it. I told you so, that there was nothing, that there's no reality in that thing, that situationship or whatever that Liko Rose and Emmanuel had in Big Brother Niger season six, Shine Your Eye edition. But no! Some very highly delusional people decided to drag me. Guys, I swear, I think nine months later, I, I think I did a video, I told you guys, I went onto Twitter and I typed my name and I just, I saw the bunch of madness. Like these people were literally dragging me on Twitter. I did not even know they were dragging me on Twitter because they were not even tagging me. They were just dragging me, all of them. Hey, Glory, that girl, she's wicked. She, they, they called me names. Oh, she's ugly. Oh, she's this. Oh, she's that. Oh, she's a harbinger of bad news. Oh, she feels like she knows it all. Licorose loves Emmanuel. Emmanuel loves Licorose. They are blah, blah, blah. They're a couple. Their love is so real. And guys, I, I was thinking, is that what real love looks like in these people's own life, in their own reality? Is that what real love looks like? I mean, come on. Come on. But you know what? I'm not done laughing. I just, I just, I just want to continue. <laughs> I mean, what was even more ridiculous, like insanely ridiculous for me, was the fact that these shippers even went as far as releasing a statement to this effect. And it made me wonder, like, was this really a community relationship? Like, Emmanuel and Liko Rose they were literally in a committed <laughs> relationship with the shippers. It's really weird. But let me go ahead and read a part of the report that I found quite interesting. So this part says, 
Unfortunately, due to the back and forth going on for weeks now, as much as we respect our faves, we also respect every single person that has sacrificed out of love to make this a success. I guess they are referring to the money that they contributed, which brings me to this part of that contribution. For real, for real, like exactly for real. What was the contribution for anyways? Were the shippers hoping that the money they were contributing, probably after one year of the show, Emmanuel and Liko Rose were going to begin to plan their wedding, or maybe Emmanuel was going to strike up a proposal at Liko Rose's birthday bash. Was that what they were expecting? Was that what they were hoping for? Or they were probably hoping or planning since it was all up to them to see the progress of the relationship. Were they hoping or expecting that um, Emmanuel and Licorice were going to start up a business partnership. I, I don't understand. Were they hoping that they were going to rent an apartment and start living together as a couple? And then they would put cameras in the house and then all those shenanigans they used to do inside Biggie's house, you know, and they would feed each other. Mania will paint Nicorose's nails and blah, blah, blah. Were they hoping that they would rent an apartment, they would put CCTV cameras everywhere and then they will stay at the comfort of their homes and be watching Emmanuel and Likoros displaying all those things they were displaying inside Biggie's house. What was, the, what was the thought process? What was the thought behind this whole thing, guys? I mean, it was just so ridiculous. Very ridiculous. And now, out of disappointment, the shapers have now resolved to divide the 19.7 million naira into two. But the question is, are they going to be still the loyal shippers, loyal fans, you know, by giving the money to the same Emmanuel and Icarus? Like, guys, what do you think? But to be very frank with you all, this is what I keep saying, and I will not stop saying it. And this is the exact same problem I'm having with those shippers from Big Brother and Zamzi. When you see the truth, you see the fact, you don't want to accept it. And it makes me wonder, most of these shippers, do they really lack love in their lives? Are their lives that miserable that when they see people playing a game on television, they just begin to nurse this hope that these people are going to be lovers? It's like, it's like what you don't have, you, you, you are really, really desperate for some other persons to actually have it. It's like the romance that some of them don't have in their lives. It's like they really want to see it embodied in these two people and it's so ridiculous and they forget that Emmanuel and Nicarus they are individuals of their own they went into Biggie's house they played their game and it worked for them it worked for them because it took them to top six it took them to the finals it worked for them and then they came out of that house of course it's natural they are going to continue riding on the name oh we are a couple I mean right after the the, the the show ended they had interviews all over the place during their media rounds and they went on and on to talk about oh i love her i love him i love her i love him they were busy professing love for each other everywhere and we knew that it was not real but they had to play the script yes because it was a script they started off in the house they had to continue because they knew for a fact that they were going to have a bunch of shippers delusional people rooting for them to be a couple, to be an item in the real world. So they had to continue playing the script. And it worked for them. Guys, it worked for them to a great deal. I mean, you saw all the gifts that they received in cash, in kind, in material things, a whole lot. It worked for them. And also, it was a win-win situation for them and they, they, are, they are shippers. Because they are shippers, they got that satisfaction of knowing that, oh, the people that we were rooting for to be a couple, oh, finally they came out of the house and they proved glory Elijah wrong. Huh? <laughs> but, but guys, let's be realistic. You can only pretend for how many days again? You can't pretend for so long. It will tire you. It will tire you. Listen, they had to go back to default setting. Yeah, default setting is their lives, their actual lives. Yes, I understand there's fame, there's popularity, um, there's, there's more um, endorsements and businesses to handle, but yes, they actually had prior commitments before going into Biggie's house and they had to go back to their lives. But then, back to the sheepers. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> listen guys, listen guys, I have only one request, okay? Just one request. You see that 19.7 million naira, eh? <laughs> It's a lot of money and I'm sure if you guys are very generous enough to spread it around 
I'm sure that I wouldn't mind if a bit of it comes to my own angle. Mm? I don't mind dropping my bank details. I would definitely do so. I, I mean, it would help me buy a bottle of champagne to wash down this tea that I've taken this morning. Because I deserve it, don't I? <laughs> But overall, this is where I am going to give more accolades to Emmanuel and Liqueurs for a game well played, for a script well acted out. They did great. Come on, I'm proud of those two people. At least they benefited a lot. They benefited. They got the dividends of their shipping. They benefited. And I'm sure the shippers too, they also got some level of satisfaction to some extent. I, I am hoping that now they will rest. Yes, they will rest and allow a smooth transition into another season of Big Brother Ninja because we're done. We're done with all of that. Yes, the ship was fake. It was never real. It, it, it never happened. People were just being delusional. People were just creating a story in their heads just to suit their fantasies. And now that fantasy has been washed down the drain. Can everybody move on now? Hmm? Can we move on to something else? Or better still, can we just wait for the reunion? and stop kidding ourselves, okay? And one last message to those of you who, who took out your precious time to drag me on my YouTube channel, on every single video I was doing, during and even after that season of Big Brother Niger, sent me threats on Instagram, yes? And also sent me threats on Twitter. Who's got the last laugh now, huh? 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 Who's got the last laugh? Listen, this is where I'm going to end this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah. This video was not to gloat or goad on this not so new news, but I just thought I should do a video about it because I suffered a lot. Mm, I suffered a lot during that time. But hey, I would love to know your own thoughts about this matter in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah. Have a blessed, have an amazing day. <laughs>